Okay guys, we're about to get into some pretty serious algebra here. Um, we've done some practice work obviously with some basic equations and now we're moving into a whole process of looking at linear patterns that, that grow and looking at how they change and being able to predict how big those patterns will be, how many blocks it might take to build such a growing pattern way down the line when we don't want to actually draw that pattern out a thousand times. And the way that we do that is we, we look at the pattern, we identify certain elements of it, and we basically create an algebraic equation that can predict any possible term that we would come across uh, down the road. And there's a seven step process involved in this, so I'm gonna make a separate tutorial for each step just so I can talk you through it, and you guys will be masters of this before you know it. So the first, step in the whole process is to draw the pattern up to the first four figures. The word figures is just a fancy way of saying drawings. Um, and so I'm going to start off with a basic shape that looks like this. And I want you to draw this shape on your page as well. There we go. Kind of like Tetris styles, right? Nothing too fancy. And because I said this is a linear growth pattern, what that means is it's going to grow by the same amount every time. It's a very predictable growth. And so the next panel here, I'm going to draw the same shape again, maybe slightly smaller, because now I've got to fit more blocks. So as you can see, I've added this block and this block to the original shape. You can probably predict the way this is going to work now because I'm going to just keep going here and add even more blocks. Starting with the same original shape, expanding out past figure two, and again, adding additional blocks to the figure. Now normally three figures is kind of enough to predict the pattern, but adding the fourth figure just makes it that much more secure. There's really no way to know for sure how a pattern is going to develop until you have four figures. I'm running out of space, but you can see how the pattern continues. The drawing itself is not what matters. It's just making sure we've included the proper number of blocks in each pattern. So again, starting with an original shape, adding additional elements to each new figure, so that we end up with a linear growth pattern. Okay, that's step one complete.